If you've ever wanted to load VSTs in Pro Tools, you know that we can't do it. And let's clear up what VST is. Some people think VST is interchangeable with plugin. It's not. VST is a plugin format, just like AU is a plugin format on Macs, and AAX is the plugin format for Pro Tools. So in Pro Tools, we can only use AAX plugins. But there's a lot of plugins out there that are only VST. There's a lot of free plugins out there that are only VST. So by default, you can't use those directly within Pro Tools. But here with Blue Cat Audio's patchwork, we can actually load VSTs in Pro Tools. Of course, we can do a lot more with this, but let's look at loading a VST. So first we'll come up here to any of our sections. We'll just click and we'll say load VST. That's gonna drop us into the default location. You can always change this right here with the wrench icon. All right, come back here, say load VST. You can also just navigate your file folders right there. If it happens to drop you, uh, drop you into the wrong folder, let's do it again, load VST. And let's find a plugin that's only VST. So something, uh, something down here, let's see here, find our TS, here it is, TSE-808 guitar pedal plugin. This is only available as a VST. So go ahead and choose open and boom, there it is ready to use right here in Pro Tools. We can also load VST3 plugins directly uh, within Patchwork here as well. Now, if you're on Mac, you should be also be able to load, to load AUs. I'm on Windows, so we can hit load, uh, you know, VST. So load your VST3s as well. Anything that you have, we'll just grab something sort of at random here. And there it is loaded directly within Patchwork here. Also, by the way, let's come in to our folder, just right into our file system. And instead of going this direction to load something, again, just pop open your file system here and you can navigate directly to the plugin that you want to use. So this plugin here is also only available as VST. I can grab it here and drop it onto any slot that I want. And there it is. So that's another way that you can load VSTs directly uh, within a patchwork here. So now we have this amp, which is completely free and we can use it right here uh, directly within Pro Tools by using, by using Blue Cat Audio's patchwork. So obviously being able to load VSTs is pretty cool, pretty awesome, right? But there's a lot more you can do with patchwork. So really quick, we're just gonna go over some things here. So first up we have a mix knob, so that's always nice to have. So you can set up a full chain of plugins in here and then, and then mix in just the amount that you want. There's also a bunch of factory presets here. There's a bunch of included plugins. So just go to select and you can see all of the built in effects that we have. Dynamics, EQs, effects, modulation, and utilities. As you can see here, we have a serial section or a pre or pre section here. And serial just means that, you know, the audio is affected by one plugin and then that audio goes into another plugin and then both of those are combined and then that goes into another plugin. It basically works the same way as your DAW whenever you start, you know, stacking plugins in your inserts, but we also have a parallel chains here. You don't have to use the parallel chains, but you can if you want. So you can see how that gets split off here into, in this case, four separate chains. And we can load any plugins that we want directly within here, even the included plugins. And then we have another post section right here uh, where all that gets summed together. We can uh, change the sum from average to sum. We have solo, uh, solo uh, uh, mode right there, window opacity right here. Uh, if I have a bunch of plugins loaded in here, as I do, I can, of course, open the interface right there of each of them. I can drag them around wherever I want. I can drag them over here if I want. I can change their order just by dragging them and getting that straight line and switch their order around however I want. I can open all the interfaces with this button right there that opens all of them at once. I can close all the interfaces right there as well. If this isn't enough slots for you by default, we can change that. So let's go to select columns. Right now it's on four. We can go to seven. So you can see now we have uh, seven columns there. Let's put this back down to four. If I need, I can turn those meters off. If I need uh, more rows, I can maybe, uh, or maybe I need less rows, right? Let's go to one row. We can do just one row. We can do seven rows. So as you can see, you can really load a ton of plugins up in here and then end up saving a preset and recall that preset, even if you have VSTs included in that preset. All right. So let's move on here. Uh, we can show our mapped controls if we happen to have any there. We can show the plugin slots or not with this button here as well. Oh, and by the way, we do have a preset browser right here as well with a bunch of factory presets 
And you can also find your personal presets in there as well. All right. So that's a quick look at all of the features and options. Now let's come down here and look at it on these two tracks. So what I've done here is I have BX Stereo Maker on this here, which is a plugin that is available as AAX, but I can of course use it as a VST version inside of Patchwork. And then I have our TSC, and then I have uh, our uh, 8505 amp. Again, both of those are VSTs. And then over here, I have an EQ, and right here I have an EQ. And what I've done with this, this is not being used necessarily as an EQ, but what I've done is, let me turn this on right there. Pop that on. What I've done and what you can do is you can load impulse responses directly within the EQ. Okay. So to do that, uh, we can just navigate right to the uh, uh, impulse response that we want, such as an impulse response for a guitar cabinet, right? Just grab it and drop it right on the EQ. And there we go. So you have an IR loader built in there as well. If you want to use the EQ, kind of like a guitar cabinet, you can also load your IRs down here. Just choose load IR and navigate your file system if you want. All right, so that's what we've done here. So we have those in serial, we have these here in parallel, and then we have a post EQ there. We have that set up across both of these. So now, of course, we can use those VST plugins directly uh, within uh, Pro Tools here. Okay. So as you can see, I've saved this as a preset, which means I can recall this full chain, even if I'm using built-in plugins, even if, I, even if I'm using uh, VSTs, VST3s, I can recall all of that in any instance of patchwork. Just click up here and you can go save or save as and save your uh, preset of all of your chain of plugins, whether it's you know a bunch of different guitar amplifiers, a certain guitar chain, a mastering chain, a vocal chain, for example. Let's actually look at a vocal chain that we have down here. So let me turn that one on. So right here we have a vocal chain using RX mouth D-click, RX voice denoise, and Nectar 3 right there, okay? Now I have that loaded in Patchwork. Why would I wanna load all of this in Patchwork and not directly within Pro Tools? Well, I can, and if I only work in Pro Tools, maybe I would, right? So we all know in Pro Tools, we can recall a full chain of inserts. And I actually have this preset saved as a chain here in, uh, in Pro Tools. Let's go ahead and pull this up. So right there it is. You can see our mouth D-click, vocal D-noise, and uh, Nectar 3. All right there. Of course, the problem is, what if I go to a different DAW, like Studio One, for example, and I want to recall this exact chain? Well, I can't share presets from Pro Tools to Studio One or to Reaper or to Cubase or to even a video editor like DaVinci or um, you know Final Cut, whatever you're, you're uh, using or Premiere. I can't share those presets, but with Patchwork, I actually can share those presets. So by saving it here, so we're in Pro Tools right now, right? By saving this in here, I can actually call up Studio One, load Patchwork in Studio One, and have my exact presets, my exact chain here that I set up, whatever it happens to be, in this case, our vocal chain, have this exactly set up just as I have it here in Pro Tools and have it immediately in Studio One or Cubase or Reaper or Logic or whatever you happen, you know, you happen to be using, or like I said, DaVinci Resolve, for example, I could pull this up within DaVinci Resolve if I happen to create a preset in Pro Tools or, or Studio One or whatever, right? And by the way, this is, this is also vice versa. So if you set something up in Studio One, some sort of chain that you really, really like, and of course in Studio One, you can create your own effects chains that you can recall within Studio One. But if you create them within Patchwork, you can then open up Pro Tools or, or Reaper or Cubase or whatever. And then those presets that you created in Studio One can now be used in, you know, in Pro Tools or whatever you happen to be using. There's also a synth version of Patchwork available. So in here, let's just open up all of these here real quick. We have uh, BX Oberhausen, we have Absinthe 5, we have Massive X, we have a Waves plugin, uh, we have some of the built-in plugins. So here's the Waves piano, for example, that we have. Uh, we have Absinthe, and like I said, Ober Oberhausen right there. And over here is our post effects that we have. So what this lets us do is combine all of these different synths and be able to, or instruments, whatever they happen to be, and use them all within Patchwork. So now I don't have to route MIDI all over the place, right? I don't have to have multiple MIDI tracks. I don't need multiple instances of the same MIDI or routing the tracks. I can just put everything in here. Let me just press a key here. So that's just massive. 
pull in our piano there. Pull in Absinthe 5. Pull in Oberhausen right there. And then we have all of those playing all at the same time. And I'm just pressing one key there. Of course, I can press several keys. I gotta have just one track worth of MIDI and trigger all of those instruments all at once. So again, we're showing this in Pro Tools right now, but keep in mind that you can use patchwork in you know any DAW that you have, VST, AAX, and AU. You can also run patchwork by the way in a standalone. So we have patchwork right there as well. If we didn't show it, we can also change the size of the interface right up here with our magnifying glass. Set that wherever you want uh, to make it easier to see or to you know put the size down if it uh, works better for you. So again, patchwork more than just a VST host here in Pro Tools. You can use it in any DAW to set up chains, serial chains, parallel chains, even get you a you know, a post section here as well, set up your presets and then save those, you know, save those presets and then use those presets in any DAW set up exactly the same way. So again, you set up something in Pro Tools, I can use that same setting, those same plugins in Studio One. Set up something in Studio One, I can use that same exact chain over here in Pro Tools just by saving a preset here in Blue Cat Audio's patchwork. All right, so if you want to go, uh, want to go check it out, of course, the link will be in the description below. This is definitely one to check out, uh, especially if you're, you know, especially if you're going between DAWs and by the way, video editors, NLEs as well. And also if you just want to be able to do things, you know, especially in Pro Tools, you have your serial chains going into your parallel chains and you can route things a bit easier. Uh, whereas some things here, especially in Pro Tools, because we don't have a lot of flexibility, uh, they would take a bunch of different routing to accomplish the same thing that you can just do directly within Patchwork. Some other DAWs have some stuff built in like Studio One, uh, but again, even in Studio One, we can set up presets within Patchwork and then use those over here uh, in Pro Tools, as well as, as we showed at the beginning, loading VSTs. So that is Blue Cat Audio's Patchwork.